Hey, what is going on everyone? So today we are going to be diving into another roster review that was requested by me and I thought again it would have been good to make a video on this in the event that there are other people who might be in a similar position. Uh, this time it will be a roster review for my alliance mate Crypto who has a crap ton of gold just sitting around and doesn't know what he wants to do with it and what characters to gear and level up. So instead of just typing all this out I decided to do a video that way it might also be helpful for others who might be in a similar position. So uh, without further ado, Let's get this review started. So some notes on crypto as we can see in the profile window here We have a TCP roughly around 6.6 .6 million and I was told that he's been playing for about 830 days So that's actually quite a bit of time uh, That's like 2.5 year or two two and a half years and honestly probably only a few months behind me uh, But he did take a break for a few months over a year or so back uh, He is also a like spender around the level of probably 20 to 30 dollars a month or equivalent to One character offer per patch or a bunch of those tiny occasionally good offers Offers that appear in the game. Also, I was told that he has completed Dark Dimension 3 twice now and has a lot of random gear lying around and not knowing who to put this into. I just wanted to set the stage here before we get into his roster and just by looking at the front of his profile here, uh, it does look like his Black Order is really solid here at uh, 500 and almost 520k. Quite arena viable here and his latest arena rank was 21 so that's pretty good there and he hasn't been number one but he has an all-time arena rank of number two. So. I do have some photos here of his roster here, and so this is the top. I, I normally do ask people to filter by red stars, and that's normally easier for me to suggest uh, who to level up based on star levels and things like that. So uh, just looking at the top here, uh, most likely the star levels are characters that he's farming or actively considering gearing so we approximate midnight I guess is probably being farmed right now because of do more too. Uh, Mr. Sinister here at the top uh, we got some squirrel girl that's she's also farmable now uh, Mystique possibly gear being getting ready to gear the Marauders I this would all look like Marauders here to me uh, so that's fine uh, Cull Obsidian not farmable yet <laughs> unfortunately eight shards away from five star activating that fifth red star so uh, maybe he'll get lucky for some orb drop sometime soon uh, and then we have Swarm here, level 75, level 75, we've got Scream at tier 13, Electro uh, at tier 12, I think that looks like, uh, and level 71 with some X-Force members favored it as well. So X-23, Domino, Negasonic, looks like uh, he's working on that for X-Force, probably for War Offense as well. Now we do have an Anti-Venom here who's level, uh, I think that's level 67. From what it looks like there, I'm like kind of having a hard time reading the number. Uh, tier, tier nothing. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any gear, just, just some gold that's put in. So, uh, first right off the bat, of course, Anti Venom is a really great character. And as of the making of this video, actually, uh, Anti Venom is in the Red Star store now. So I would recommend uh, building up those Red Stars for Anti Venom. He's a very solid member of the Symbiote's team and really helps there for the support. Uh, if we're going to use the full Symbiote's team together, then Anti Venom definitely needs to be on that list. Uh, so getting to start gearing up Anti-Venom, which who is bio, unfortunately there's a lot of good bio characters right now, so it is tough sometimes to gear them up, but uh, Anti-Venom is definitely a choice for me, and if you do have the silver promotions or any gold promotion credits available, I would try to get Anti-Venom up to at least 5 red star, but I do see that he is only 3 yellow, so uh, maybe some good lucks in the orb that might, might allow for uh, some extra shards in the future, but at least getting the 3rd red star would definitely help. And I think he's still valid. His, his base stats, actually, Anti-Venom's base stats are very high, uh, so he is still worth gearing regardless of uh, how high you have him. I think he's a 3 star unlock anyways, but I would still recommend gearing him up so uh, looking through here Ironheart uh, no red stars on Ironheart so usually I wouldn't suggest people gearing up characters with low or no red stars uh, so I think this is probably just a shard farm here because she is available in villains uh, seven nine I forget now yeah it's in the, the new villains chapter uh, we do have let's scroll down here Thanos at seven red star Deadpool at seven red star Electra <laughs> at seven red star Captain Marvel six Corvus Glaive seven that's four seven red stars. I only have two, so definitely some good luck here on some red stars. Deadpool is okay, Elektra is not so great, but Corvus Glaive and Thanos both on the same team, uh, that's really amazing there. Uh, Colossus is six, Black Bolt is six. These are some really good red star pulls. Uh, and so, yeah, so then we're getting down to the fives here. So, of the sixes, I mean, I guess Human Torch maybe could be built up a little bit more if Fantastic Four or War Offense is a priority at all. Uh, I see level, oops, 
I there we go. I, I zoomed out there. Uh, so I see level 65 human torch. Maybe going up to 70 for that extra bonus. The six red is really huge. So definitely would get the benefit of more gear, at least up to gear tier uh, gear tier 12 rather, uh, and getting that level up to 70. That would definitely help uh, getting that power level up even further. Because when you have red stars, and especially when you're at seven yellow stars, uh, you you benefit a lot by having uh, high red stars and getting your gear and actual level up to at least level 70. Because when you get to level 71 to 75. Uh, most of the difference is in focus and resistance. Human Torch could benefit that from that by a little bit, but I don't think he really needs it too much. So definitely at least level 70 on Human Torch. I think if you're trying to build up a wider roster in terms of... Um in terms of possibly war, probably Alliance War really is the main reason to build wider. Uh, looking at Quake, six red stars, I think you, that looks like a tier 9 to me. Could maybe go into tier 10, tier 11 just to support uh, Black Bolt for the moment anyways. I suspect that sometime in the near future we're going to get uh, a split of Inhuman characters, probably more Inhuman Royal Family and then building on the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. team. Fingers crossed because I, <laughs> I did really like the TV show, uh, so I hope that they actually remove Quake and Yo-Yo from that team, uh, from the Inhumans team specifically and add in more royal family characters and then kind of solidify that agents of shield team that would really be awesome <laughs> and uh so we do have ebony maw doc Ock, that's fine all of this is pretty fine here nothing really that stands out that's really out of the abnormal uh heimdall 71 rhino 71 minerva mysterio i think we probably won't get to see what the problem is until we get lowered down here if there is a problem really thing five red stars on thing that's pretty good maybe i think that's gear 12 actually so i don't know if you can go much further than that green goblin five red cable five red mm, i think that's fine there uh, let's go on to the next screenshot here so let's scroll up back to the top uh 50k hydro rifle trooper shield assault oh wait that's the same as the other one uh, hand sentry magneto now is at five red star with a possible upgrade to seven so i would actually consider a brotherhood 2.0 team but I think we are getting into that point now. Uh, as of this video, actually, there was a blog post uh, around Iceman coming out and the other Astonishing X-Men that are soon to be coming for patch 4.6. So I think you might want to put a hold onto gearing up mutant characters at this time because there might be more better mutants that might be worth gearing in the near future. So there's a lot of good mutant characters worth building right now but if you don't have a huge influx of mutant gear i think holding on to that for next patch might be the better uh the better move for now until we get to see the full teams that are coming out for the patch and deciding whether or not they're worth building or not and i at least for mutant gear specifically so i see magneto sabertooth pyro and all that uh, magneto and pyro specifically are a real big backbone to the brotherhood 2.0 team but again uh, because of the value of mutant gear i'm not sure how much i can really recommend it at this point despite the red stars being really good uh so let's scroll on and see if there's anything else worth loving we do have a phoenix here at uh tier 14 sorry at four red stars invisible woman as well so if there's anything super lacking i'd probably point that out but mutant does make up a good chunk of characters right now mutant and bio are two of the most important gear pieces at the moment so uh, mutant wise i would have to say those would need to go on hold and then bio definitely anti-venom what i pointed out earlier is probably something that i would bring up now we do have a, a tier 12 America Chavez. Um, do, 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 do. What else do we have here? I'm just trying to think what other characters might be worth building at this point. I mean, it looks like widely it's not too bad. Normally I would bring up characters to tier 12 uh, if I am going to use them, but I don't really feel confident enough to put orange gear in them because of Dark Dimension uh, issues with Dark Dimension 4 and saving as much orange gear as possible. Uh, you don't, if, if you're just using them for Alliance War, then you probably don't want to take them higher than tier 12 unless you have like some BV 6 or 7 red stars. Uh, so scrolling down, maybe some extra gear into the Fantastic Four because Human Torch was so uh, had so many good red stars that you know increasing Mr. Fantastic a little bit more and definitely up to level 71 because uh, he is definitely someone that can benefit from some more focus. Um, so that would go alongside Human Torch from what I recommended earlier. Um, aside from that, let's scroll down a little bit more. I mean, I, we don't have that fifth member of the Young Avengers, so I see Miss Marvel, Spider-Man Miles, America Chavez, and Squirrel Girl from previous, 
but we don't have a fifth member of the Young Avengers, but that might be something to keep an eye on in the near future if they do decide to bring out uh, a fifth member and whoever that happens to be at that time. Now, looks like there's some remnants of some older teams. We do have some pretty high-powered Drax and, like, Defender characters around. Juggernauts, level 60, 40k. Um, no, what's Storm? I think Storm is going to get moved to the Astonishing X-Men. Now, at this point in time, uh, we have heard of Beast and then Iceman, and I think there's going to be a blog post for Rogue, which is tomorrow, I think, as of this video anyways, which might be today, depending on when this video goes live. Uh, and so I think Storm might be part of that group, but again, more mutant characters. Uh, I see a crystal down here. Now let's scroll over to the next screenshot page. Let me at the top here. And we do have a four-star crystal with a seven upgrade here. Crystal's actually very good for the Inhuman team, and I think definitely worth building at least up to that gear tier 12 part, because Inhumans are a very strong offensive war team, and uh, I think that Crystal, having Crystal up a bit higher, can really make it easier to take on teams like Marauders. Uh, I have punched across with uh, the Inhumans with Black Bolt, and then you can actually punch up if you use Crystal, uh, sorry, if you uh, remove Quake and put in Ultron, then you can punch up quite a bit with the Inhumans team. So I would definitely recommend gearing up Crystal a little bit more. Uh, she is by Bio, but uh, maybe after Anti-Venom I would consider that because uh, I think Anti-Venom is a better character uh, but after that I could see putting some extra gear and levels into Crystal now moving on Mbaku's trash a lot of these characters are kind of trashy Scarlet Witch we don't really know what's gonna go on with her I suspect and a lot of people have said that maybe this is gonna get moved she's gonna get moved off the supernatural team possibly uh, with Vision uh, to go somewhere else because of that TV show that's coming out. Ant-Man and the Wasp. <sighs> Pym Tech is just not something uh, that I can really highly recommend other than Ghost. Uh, maybe Yellow Jacket, but I just don't think the whole team is really all that's cracked up to be. I think that the reworks were decent, but even I, you know, I have an Ant-Man Wasp at like 50k, and even I struggle to do even Blitz 8.3, and that's really embarrassing, frankly. <laughs> so let's scroll down. Who's at the bottom now? Ghost Rider. So if there's any... And Falcon, actually. So there doesn't seem to be a fully built uh, Power Armor 2.0 team. That is really good as well. So if you do have a lot of spare tech gear, or you want to invest in some of these characters, I would definitely recommend bringing Falcon up and Ghost Rider is a super important member of the Supernatural team so uh, if you are looking to build these at least in the near future medium future if we do get a legendary we don't know who the next legendary is but uh, we heard rumors of characters like Blade Morbius maybe coming to the game and if that's the case maybe they might be supernatural but you'll definitely need Ghost Rider as the backbone to the Supernatural team uh, so these two characters are ones to look out for and here we're getting down to the sort of other characters I would definitely I would definitely recommend bringing up and so for the same reason as Crystal, I would definitely recommend bringing Karnak up, because it looks like you got 7 star Karnak, 4 red stars, which is actually pretty decent. So I would consider bringing him up to at least like a gear tier 10, gear tier 11. He's also skill, so there isn't a lot of good skill characters, so there is a lot of room to put gear into him, and he does help in clearing for that uh, when you're using the Inhuman team against Marauders. So that ultimate, which applies Disrupt to Strife, really helps a lot when you're taking them out. So Karnak alongside Crystal, which is up here, I think will be very beneficial to that Inhuman team to actually uh, fleshing out a full Inhuman team alongside Black Bolt. Now, I do see a Baron Zemo as well, and for the exact same reason as Karnak, although for a different team, uh, Baron Zemo is a very strong standalone character, and he can actually, if you don't want to use the full uh, Zemo Hydra team, you can actually just copy and paste Zemo into another team, and his passive just blows up people. It clears positive status effects. It's a very strong move for war offense, so something I would recommend as well he is skilled just like I said for Karnak now who is who is better to raise I would actually say Zemo first and then Karnak in terms of your skill gear usage so the, already there's uh, one two three four characters right here uh, Zemo Karnak Ghost Rider and Falcon that I would recommend Toad again kind of mutant so I really love Toad and Blob but um, yeah I think mutant gear needs to be put on hold right now because of the patch that's coming Yo-Yo uh, <laughs> also another really important member of that Inhumans team at least for war if you're not using Yo-Yo for raids uh, or anything like that then you don't necessarily need to raise her up for that but I do see four red pretty good um, <laughs> probably worth bringing up at least just to put in war because when you have them alongside uh, her on spawn is defense up to the inhuman team and that's really important for war offense so 
again if you're trying to build up more war offense characters i would really suggest leveling up yo-yo alongside karnak and crystal crystal's already level 60 it seems so bringing up karnak and yo-yo to level 60 to actually flesh out that full black bolt team rather than just planting copy and pasting black bolt into some other team that would help significantly as well in my opinion uh so we do have that's another character there so falcon karnak Ghost Rider, Baron Zemo, Yo-Yo are characters that I would consider raising up from the bottom. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Namor at 3 red, unfortunately. So we're getting down to the 3 reds now here. Um, Taskmaster. The Mercs team are okay, but if you have low red stars, I'm not... And Taskmaster is not farmable as of this video. So I don't know how much I would really consider doing this at the t moment. And the red stars don't seem to be all that great. Uh, I see three red for Taskmaster, Killmonger, Merc Lieutenant, and Rygard. So that's four characters with lowish red. I think three is kind of low. I think four plus is better for red stars. So I don't know if I'd really invest into the Mercs team at this time. But I think maybe focusing on more war offense here with the characters that I suggested above, I think will definitely make a big difference. Doctor Strange, also only three red, but looks like he's almost seven yellow. Uh, something you might want to keep an eye on for the Supernatural team in the near future, possibly if they get a buff uh, via a legendary or something else as well. And it doesn't look like there's any rescue here again. If you're wanting to build up that Power Armor 2.0 team, uh, something good that you you don't have to level up Iron Man, but you can actually replace Iron Man with Ultron. Use Rescue Falcon, um, Ironheart, and uh, War Machine, and those four plus Ultron can make a really good uh, war offense team to take out uh, more Marauder Emma Marauders as well. So that's really helpful there. Uh, so if you're looking for another full team. Uh, I would consider that. It looks like Rescue is level 45 here, uh, but not very high gear tier. But if you're looking for somewhere to put your tech gear, I would suggest uh, doing a little bit into Rescue, at least making her survivable, probably about tier 10, and then putting more gear into Falcon, or any gear into Falcon really at this point, uh, and then using a, a Power Armor 2.0 team can really work out. Now let's look at the final screenshot here. Uh, looks like we got some, sh yeah, again, nothing really major. Uh, some of these are doubled. I guess as we're at the bottom of the list here. Okay, so Elsa again. So she's not the most important member of the Supernatural team, but she is the blaster of it. Uh, looks like a six star Elsa. Um, I would definitely start with Ghost Rider first, or maybe they're all Mystic, and there's not a lot of good characters to put Mystic gear into right now. So that's why I would kind of use this time to maybe I would suggest you know leveling up Supernatural in advance almost. They're a really good team, uh, and with the lack of other good Mystic characters to put your gear into, it's going to be a long time before anyone really average players start unlocking Doctor Doom, who is also Mystic gear. But yeah, so that's where we're at here now. She Hulk and Blob, She Hulk, I. I <laughs> You know, I've had videos of uh, huge She-Hulk punch-ups uh, and huge She-Hulk defenses, but I think until she becomes farmable, I wouldn't really invest in her. Blob, again, I have to say for the mutants thing that we don't... I think the mutant gear investment probably will be better for some of these newer characters coming out, so we'll have to see what they have in store. Uh, and then Beast isn't farmable either, so... Uh, looks like that's probably all of my suggestions for right now. Uh, and Pimtech, again... Um, you know, even though I've played with them quite a bit, I think the jury's still out for me. I know Ghost is a really strong character, so if you do get Ghost unlocked, Ghost is worth bringing up for Dark Dimension related stuff, but other than that, I don't even plan on raising too many of them myself, so... Looks like we're at the end of the roster here, so that's basically all I want to suggest. A lot of the big suggestions were on this previous photo here, uh, which were the characters that are haven't even been leveled. So Falcon, Ghost Rider, Karnak, Baron Zemo, possibly Yo-Yo, and then Crystal, and I believe there's a few others back here. Mr. Fantastic, Human Torch, I think, back here. Uh, but you can go back through the video and uh, check out my recommendations from that. So uh, that's all for today in this roster review. Again, guys, if you want to get in touch with me, if you want to get one of your own roster reviews done, then feel free to contact me. Uh, the easiest way to get a hold of me is via my Discord uh, rather than through YouTube since I can't do instant messaging that way. Uh, so please find me via Discord, which you can find in the description of all of my videos, uh, either my my, uh, my Discord channel or just my Discord uh, specifically and you can send me a message there and we can get in touch if you want to have your own roster review. So uh, thanks for watching this video guys and of course until next time stay safe and I'll see y'all later. Boylan signing out.